Welcome back to Fast Market on the TD Ameritrade Network. I'm Tom White, joined by my co-host Kevin Hinks. But let's bring in our next guest for our cash tag segment, and that's going to be Megan Brantley, the Vice President of Research at Likefolio. Thanks for joining us, Megan. Thanks for having me, guys. All right. So we're talking eBay, the report earnings after the close. Shares are down about 20% so far this year, hit an all-time high of over 81 bucks a share. But as far as consumer sentiment data that's been coming out lately, Megan, we've seen a real big pullback in some of those forward-looking numbers. And eBay seems to be right in the mix. It's pulled back with a lot of these names, consumer discretionary, retail names. But you can buy anything on eBay. I just don't know who's using this platform anymore. What kind of data are you seeing out of like Folio? Yeah, so, you know, eBay was really the, the OG kind of peer-to-peer e-commerce platform um, way back in the day. I can I can still remember my first experience using eBay when I was a child and thinking it was so novel. And I'm not necessarily sure exactly how much it's changed, but um, I think it definitely has some room for improvement. Um, I heard it described that someone said that eBay had a growth hangover right now. And I think that that is a really interesting way to look at it. And you can certainly see that kind of in our data. When we look at consumer demand mentions, over the last couple of quarters, we've seen really six quarters in a row of um, decline when it comes to just that tempering and growth. And those are those mentions of people who are talking about shopping or um, you know downloading even eBay. And what you can see though, is that in this current quarter, you know, we kind of hit an inflection point. So this is actually the first quarter in the last six quarters that we've seen any type of improvement. So we have those mentions, you know, still declining on a year over year basis, but starting to gain a little bit of near term traction. So this is for us looks like a bit of an inflection point for eBay. So whenever we're looking at this, you know, it, it's not necessarily that we're seeing this enormous or tremendous growth out of eBay. It's more that we're starting to see, you know, a slowdown in that decline. And so perhaps, you know, that could be taken positively by investors if we start to see some signs of improvement. Yeah, M- Megan, when you when I look at eBay, what I think about mostly is a, a company that they should have been the original massive, right, um, online shopping place, right? And now they've got their little niche, right? They've got collectibles, they've got trading cards, they've got sneakers that they kind of focus on. They are adding some things like payment processing and advertising, and they're doing things to move along. But yeah, you're right. I, I read that same article that, that you did about the growth hangover and how last year was so good that they'd be lucky to, to break even in terms of growth, right, in terms of the numbers. So does this company have its little niche carved out? Are you seeing, because you are, I mean, your data shows a slight uptick in some of the momentums. And you know, the uh, year over year happiness is a little higher. And are they carving out their little area of e-commerce, even though it should should have been massive and it's turning out to be much smaller? Are they safe in terms of going forward that they have their little area that they cover? That's a big question. You know, safe? I don't know. But from at least our perspective, I think you make a really good point about that niche. You know, we do see a lot of mentions of people who are talking about, you know, trading cards and these collectibles, these very specific things that eBay provides and allows, you know, connects from a peer-to-peer basis. Um, We see a lot of improvements when it comes to authenticity. You know, we're starting to see improvements of people talking about having a better experience on the platform. I think that consumer happiness chart that you kind of hinted at, you can see that eBay is is making inroads here. Now, I want to point out that this chart is showcasing the change in consumer happiness. So you can see eBay um, improving and you can see, you know, Etsy kind of falling behind a little bit. But I want to point out that if you were to look at the overall happiness ratings here, eBay is in third place um, and it has the most ground to make up. And so this kind of um, is a little bit counterintuitive, but this is one of the reasons that you know, we we start to look at eBay and say, okay, is it reaching this inflection point of keeping at least these loyal consumers, making those consumers happier? Because it's starting to make improvements. It's starting to catch up to Amazon. It's starting to catch up to Etsy, even though it still has a ways to go. We've seen that kind of inflection point of, okay, 
maybe they're starting to do some things right. However, I think there there's still, you know, plenty of room for improvement long term. We'll definitely be watching for the that digital wallet integration. I think that one's supposed to go live in Q2. So that'll be something to listen for on this report. We'll also be really keying into these active buyers. You know, in the past, these active buyers have been sliding and we're starting to see some signs of an inflection on our um, data as well. I looked at mentions of people who are talking about rejoining eBay or downloading eBay, and those appear to have bottomed out, at least in our data, in January. And we're starting to see some slight incremental improvements in the coming months, specifically in February, which is in this quarter that they're about to report. So, you know, heading into earnings for us, we see some signs of improvement in the quarter that's going to be reported. And then we're starting to see a little bit of lag off into the quarter that we're in right now. So in, you know, April and even the early part of May. So it's a little bit of a mixed bag for us whenever we're looking at this from an earnings perspective, because um, it's one of those situations where, you know, the report may not be that great, but it may not be as bad as investors expect. Yeah. And I agree with Kevin. You know, I think eBay dropped the ball because when I was using this, when, you know, you first bought something on the Internet, it was probably through eBay at some point. I think I bought an right. old uh, golf driver uh, back in the day. But that's, the, I, I think, the flexibility of this platform uh, where you can buy, you know, a used car part from a 1977 Mustang all the way up to uh, new items because they have, you know, marketplaces now for them. But when you look at the... the the consumer overall, Megan, over the last couple quarters, is that the warning signal for, you know, e-commerce platforms like eBay and others where you're going to see a pullback just due to inflationary pressures and that might weigh on them in the near term? Yeah, I think that that's a great point. We definitely see these inflation fears, you know, almost at all time highs when it comes to consumers perspective. And, you know, we do see signs that consumers are talking about maybe being a little bit more frugal um, from an e-commerce perspective. When we look at mentions just year over year, people who are shopping online, we see those pretty flat year over year. So, you know, not a huge tailwind there that eBay can count on that it previously has been able to count on. I think that we see this you know, across the board when it comes to these e-commerce platforms. So definitely a lot of headwinds heading into this report, but I think that also, you know, expectations may be a little bit lower. So, you know, if we were to put an earnings score on this, ours comes in for eBay at about a 29, which is very, very cautious, I will say. Um, so, you know, make sure that, you know, you stay risk defined if you are playing this, but for us at least, these signs of improvement, those little bit of uptick that you saw in happiness and that appearance of a somewhat inflection point tells us that, you know, eBay may be starting to turning its ship around a bit, but it may not happen this quarter. This may be, you know, very forward looking. So it's definitely something that we're need, we'll need to monitor to confirm that they can sustain this. All right. So a relatively positive with the uh, score of about 29 uh, on your data. All right, Megan, thanks for uh, all the information here out of Likefolio. Appreciate it. Thanks, guys. All right, that's Megan Brantley, Vice President of Research at Likefolio. So, Kevin.